A hard landing and the smell of burning rubber. Two indications to passengers on Southwest Flight 4013 that something was wrong after their plane landed at the wrong airport, coming within 300 feet of a steep embankment at the end of the runway. We had like a really rough landing. We were all like moving pretty close to the seats as we were landing because the runway, I guess, is too short for the plane. The plane carrying more than 100 passengers was scheduled to land at Missouri's Branson Airport Sunday night, but instead showed up at Taney County Airport, about seven miles from the intended destination. The plane ended up landing at Point Lookout Airport and needs mutual aid. The runway at Taney County Airport is about half the length of the runway at Branson. We got a call saying um, the plane has landed at a uh, airport nearby. And we're thinking surely not a jet plane could land there. Officials say if the pilot didn't break when he did, the plane could have overshot the runway and tumbled onto a highway. Passenger Scott Schieffer captured the aftermath on video. It shows passengers evacuating the plane before being bused to the larger airport. In November, a Boeing 747 cargo plane also landed at the wrong airport, this time in Kansas, on a runway half a mile shorter than it usually uses. Despite fears the Dreamlifter would be stuck at the Kansas airport indefinitely, it eventually took off without incident. Southwest is hoping for a similarly successful outcome for their Boeing 737.